Hi there, I'm Eldon Kalanoka. I'm a service tech here at Full Line Ag in Saskatoon. And today we're going to be covering the system controls portion of the Accu Terminal in the new Rogator C Series 9, 11, and 1300s. So, this is basically what your main screen will look like. If you hit this home button, this is where it's going to take you. So, this is basically how it's going to look when you start up and stuff like that. I'll just cover uh, what some of the screens represent and what some of the buttons do. So this is basically your system screen. You'll see it has a bunch of little icons. Uh, there's a couple different ways you can do stuff on this screen. Uh, you can expand it by hitting, I'll cover that again, this little button up in the corner. You see how it looks like it's kind of connected to it? You hit that button, it makes your screen bigger, gives you a couple more functions. If you'd like to expand it more, that's what this button represents. Now you can go full screen. Uh, it's not very often a guy will do that. It doesn't give you any extra functionality, it just makes it bigger. But I can use this to, re to show some stuff here. So this button in the corner is your master apply on and off. That's spring. That's not spraying. This here is your, this represents your NORAC uh, auto boom height, uh, basically status. This is showing right now that's in manual. This is gonna be your product pump on and off. Right now it's showing that it's off. Now it's showing that it's on. And that's basically your product pump. This square here represents your your product tank. It's showing zero gallons because we're empty. There's actually a float in the tank now. As you fill the tank, this will fill up and show you your actual level. This is your agitation or sparge, and this represents uh, how much agitation you have. It's set at 50%. This is pump pressure. And this is nozzle pressure out the back. Uh, these are a whole bunch of the buttons that you can go into separate screens in your system. For instance, here's agitation. In agitation, we have two ways to set this up. So you can set it up manually so that you control it, or there is an auto button. So auto, will automatically control the agitation set on some parameters uh, that you can then set. And then you don't have to worry about shutting your agitation off when you get to a certain amount of gallons in the tank so that you can keep it from foaming and stuff like that. Basically in automatic, it does that for you. So the way this one is set up, your minimum is 50%, your maximum is 100. At a full tank, it'll be at 100% and then you can have it set here so that uh, when there's 26 when there's 26 gallons left, oh, I shouldn't have hit that. <laughs> when there's 26 gallons left, your agitation will be fully off. Or you can just change that to be 150 gallons, and then your agitation will shut off automatically. This is your tank level button tank settings. In here you can set it to alarm at a particular uh, height in the tank. Right now this is set for 100 gallons. So as soon as it gets down to 100 gallons what it's going to do is it's going to alarm. Then uh, this is this is your maintenance button. So there's also, this button is also on the armrest. It's this one here or here. So basically, if I hit this button, it's gonna go into our system maintenance. So this is where you can do uh, product recovery. So let's say that you're in the middle of spring, you get rained out, but you still have half a tank on. Some chemicals, you don't wanna leave them 
in your booms because of settling and you want to keep the chemical suspended or stuff like that. Because of our uh, continuous boom, you're able to do two types of, uh, two types of recovery. So a boom and manifold recovery only or full system. So a full system recovery, when you go through the process, what it does is it takes air and blows everything out of your, your product pump, your reload station, all your booms, everything recovers it all back to tank. It leaves no residual chemical in your booms. That way, the next day when you're able to spray again, all you have to do is agitate and your chemical will be back into full suspension and then you can go con continue to spray and you don't have to worry about uh, hot spots or uh, not having your chemical mixed for the next day. Uh, so that's product recovery. In here, this is tank rinse. So this is uh, rinse your tank, rinse your plumbing, rinse out your nozzles. As you hit the button, it tells you exactly what to do and gives you near perfect, near perfect instructions. This button here is boom clean out. So this is uh, air boom clean out so after you've done your product recovery and all that stuff and you really want to clean your booms out you can or after you do uh, a fresh water rinse and you want to clean your booms out when you're switching to your next chemical you basically all our machines we don't have any with injection so it's always clean out with no injection and what this will do it'll pressurize your system and then with these buttons here you're able to open boom sections and blow it out to the ground and basically you can blow it out until there's nothing left in the, in the booms this button here kind of gives you a little bit of a road map to the valves that are being opened and closed uh, they don't have any of them labeled so the functionality isn't really good so it's something you'll never have to really worry about And that basically covers the buttons that you're only going to have to be concerned with. There's other buttons here that me as a technician I use, but it's stuff that you won't really have to worry about. Like this is, uh, yeah, maintenance and calibration. So in here, yeah, I'll go back. So the little home with a wrench is always, uh, there's calibration pages in there. So I'll just go in there just to... So in here, so here is uh, diagnostics. There's error codes. These are error codes here. So this is calibration. Whenever they got a little ruler and a little caliper thing, that's what that represents. So here's your calibration menu. So if any of these were an X, that would represent that that particular item isn't calibrated. So this is nozzle pressure, pump pressure, this is tank level, so that's the float in the tank, and this is agitation. Then as you push one of them, uh, let's see, it just tells you to calibrate. And basically, as long as it's a green check mark, everything should be fine. And that's basically it for that stuff. And that should be good enough for covering the system stuff. Now, to get out of the screen, the you just have to kind of look at all the icons. And you'll see here that this is the one that takes you back to half screen. And then these arrows are always back arrows. So you have a back arrow here, and you have a back arrow up here. Both do the same type of thing. 